This is why you should never sell XRP. XRP was going down in the last week and fell to a number below. But in the last day, it rose back to its previous position of number 4, and at the time of writing, XRP was up 18.54% in the last 24 hours. Its sudden price surge makes us not want to sell this unique digital currency. Hey guys, and welcome back to Crypto Millionaires, a channel where we give you information about investing in crypto. Please like and subscribe if you are new here to get everything you need to know about cryptocurrencies. In today's video, you will know about the facts that makes us not want to sell the unique cryptocurrency XRP. We will shed some light on how the XRP is gaining the bullish price momentum and what will happen to the price surge with the ongoing Ripple SEC lawsuit. Something that will make the XRP be used globally will also be discussed. So let's start our video. As we all know, the Ripple XRP has many unique features, and these features are contributing in the price surges because every institution and every person wants to gain from this digital asset. XRP recaptures bullish momentum. Ripple is up 26% over the last 24 hours following a rebound from the support established at $1. This recovery took place in tandem with Bitcoin's return above $50,000 and Ethereum's rally to past $2,500. XRP trades at $1.40 at the time of writing, amid the bullish impact from the falling wedge pattern. According to the XRP USD price chart, the pattern formation is highly bullish. Ripple is in the middle of a breakout, bouncing off the support at $1. The bulls seek to support above $1.40, which will allow them to focus on highs above $1.50 and toward $2. The immediate upside is capped by resistance at the 100 Simple Moving Average, or SMA. If broken, Ripple will quickly face the remaining hurdles, heading to $2. Besides the wedge pattern breakout, the Ripple's uptrend has been supported by the Moving Average Coverage Divergence, MACD indicator. The indicator has re-entered the positive territory, and the MACD line crosses above the signal line. If the technical picture remains unchanged, the uptrend will continue throughout the coming sessions. Just the other day, Ripple was going down and almost falling below a dollar. And today, it's again crossing the hurdles for reaching $2. Good news with the lawsuit. Soon after the lawsuit was filed back in December of 2020, there was a lot of skepticism doing the rounds. Ripple will lose all its volumes, some said. XRP will tank and fall to zero, claimed others. Ripple is one foot in the grave, said the others. However, contrary to expectations, XRP has done well for itself on the price charts, despite the delisting spree that followed. Before the latest corrections set in, XRP was trading at a price level that was unseen for over three years. Still, many questions were raised and the Ripple CEO, Brad Garlinghouse, contrary to the expectations of many, revealed that there's mostly good news on this front, with the exec adding, that the firm has onboarded 20 plus customers since the SEC filed the lawsuit. Here it's worth noting that the exec was quick to point out that all these customers are based abroad, just like 90% of Ripple's user base. Demographically, Garlinghouse went on to imply most of Ripple's existing customers were unaffected by the regulatory concerns in the United States. Ripple has been in the news lately thanks to its association with the likes of Trago and Azimo recently. While the blockchain firm acquired a 40% ownership stake in the Trengo a few weeks ago, the Azimo is going to be tapping up Ripple's on-demand liquidity services. Garlinghouse also went on to highlight that despite the said lawsuit, 2020 has RippleNet's biggest year ever, with the same processing over 3 million transactions. In fact, the same was expanded upon by Ripple's Q4 report, which was released in February. However, the report also found that over 12% of XRP volumes were affected thanks to the lawsuit. The exec also expanded on other spaces the firm has been dabbling in recently. CBDCs, for one, is one NASA sector Ripple has sought to be part of. With the blockchain firm recently piloting a private XRP ledger for central banks, launching CBDCs back in March, according to Garlinghouse, over 80 central banks are looking into the potential impact of CBDCs. The exec asserted that while he is very bullish on Bitcoin, the community needs to be intellectually honest and look to a better mechanism for transaction validation. Despite their ongoing lawsuit with the SEC, recent court judgments have painted a positive outlook for both the company and XRP. Ripple adoption is exploding. It has been recently revealed that the high net worth investors are allocating more funds for the digital asset XRP. The online publication, The Daily Hodl, notes that in its new Digital Asset Fund Flows report, Digital Asset Manager CoinShares said that the digital asset is now the top rising altcoin among its institutional investors. 
The report shared that $33 million has been invested in the fourth largest cryptocurrency over the past week. This has increased the coin's year-to-date inflows to $38.9 million. The firm now manages $83 million in XRP assets. Another company also breached $64 billion in assets under management for the first time as last week's inflows for all digital assets reached $233 million. That is the highest since March. It's been revealed not too long ago that XRP use cases are about to explode. The OneChain team is a blockchain interoperability platform announced that now, XRP token holders can put their XRP to work and engage with the world's many DeFi applications. As the online publication Crypto Globe notes, that this makes sense when you consider that the goal of OneChain is to connect the world's many isolated blockchains. While Ripple's XRP token has not been directly affected just yet, everything is slowly coming together to massively impact the adoption of XRP. With institutions such as World Bank, World Economic Forum, IMF, and EU Commission on board, and actively working with Ripple, XRP is seemingly unstoppable. XRP to replace SWIFT Guys, according to the Ripple founder Chris Larson, Ripple's XRP is in good shape to replace SWIFT as an international payment network. A report from Official Monetary and Financial Institutions Forum presents blockchain technology as a solution for multiple sectors, from governance, finance, data access, and scalability. And guess what? Ripple products are part of the solution presented. According to the new report, blockchain technology is appropriate for improving several key banking system functions, such as payments, settlements, and transaction validation. The report points out that the DLT technology on which XRP operates can bring improvements in five key points security, speed, transparency, traceability, cost, and risk management. The report also notes that a bank can eliminate the complicated process required by SWIFT and replace it with the XRP pool. That way, a bank can allocate less liquidity as part of the service and still obtain the same amount of transaction volume in global payments. According to that report, a survey was conducted for the banks and several banking institutions agree on the disadvantages of the SWIFT network for making transactions. These are costly have many obstacles, and involve many parties to be completed. Also, one banking institution representative surveyed stated that the SWIFT network is not appropriate for corporations. Implementing an XRPL-based system could reduce the vulnerability in the traditional banking system and its single points of failure. In addition, distributed general ledger technology could improve the delivery and payment feature required by certain banking services. Therefore, XRP can be applied to eliminate an intermediary in a transaction and remove credit risk. That way, transactions recorded by a banking institution could be cheaper, according to the report. An article posted on Bitcoinist.com writes that, taking into account the limited nature of XRP, that is 100 billion, and the volume of transactions through SWIFT, we get a $153 trillion market. If all this volume is stored in XRP, not including funds used to create the wallet, and which are not in circulation, the value of each of the 100 billion XRP tokens would be $1,530. The Environmental Impact Model for Cryptocurrencies and Paper Money, in qualifying the environmental impact of payment systems, says that there will be much ongoing work for us to do to reach carbon zero, and we look forward to more diverse and deeper research addressing the environmental implications of our day-to-day -day choices, such as how we pay. And most of all, we look forward to you helping us spread awareness and take real action to protect our world. So sooner we are going to see a greener world and XRP's unique features are making it a part of the greener world. In a recent live interview with Bloomberg, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse made a bleak prediction that 99% of all cryptocurrencies will probably go to zero. Garlinghouse explained that the remaining 1% of projects which are focused on solving real problems for customers at scale will thrive. According to the coin market cap, at the time of this writing, the XRP price today is $1.40 USD with a 24-hour trading volume of $16.9 billion USD. XRP is up 18.54% in the last 24 hours. The current coin market cap ranking is number 4 with a live market cap of $63.5 billion USD. It has a circulating supply of 45 billion XRP coins and a maximum supply of 100 billion XRP coins. So guys, this is it for today's video. I hope it could be a big help for you. What do you think? Are you going to sell XRP now? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to click the bell icon. And thanks for watching.